All right, Jenna. I think there's a mic going. I hope there's a mic going. I don't know. <clears throat> you sent me this problem, and here we go. So again, this whole transformation thing is really just, can we think of these um, functions as essentially this? This one would be thought of as like this, um, b to the x plus 2. Or more specifically, we would think about it as f of x equals 1 third x. Ooh, we don't want this plus 2 up there. okay? Because each base would have a different, uh, the function would differ in what it looks like in its shape. So this one, if it was exactly this, f of x equals one third to the x. Um, if I put zero in for x, I would get one third to the zero, which is one. So I get zero comma one. So as I said in class, they all go through this point. Uh, oh, cause it's not, the, it's not the actual problem that's written now. Okay, so we get that guy and we have this point, that's one. Now. All we need to do is choose a second point, but that's not easy to do necessarily. I'm gonna do it with this parent function. So if I put one in there, it'll be one comma one third, which, oh my goodness, you can't graph. But what if I put a number in there that would give me an integer? And so I would think about that. Why? Because this one third is always gonna be a fraction unless I invert it, unless I flip it over, okay? So if I will put one third, excuse me, negative one for x, I'll get that. Which of course I hope we remember that that's equal to this. And that gives me another point, negative one comma three. So I have a second point. So I can plot that second point, negative one comma three. Now, that's not the problem. That's not this function here. That's this one. Uh, I don't know why that little curve thing is there. I guess I was drawing a parentheses maybe, I don't know. Okay, so now, how does that one differ from, how does this parent function differ from the function that we were given? Well, going back to when we were doing transformations, this plus two is from thinking about all functions like this. Um, this one would look like this, uh, negative, it would be one third. Uh, how do I want to think about this? I just want to put, I just want to put letters in and then talk about the letters. So A times one third to the X minus H plus K. This A can do a whole bunch of things. It can make my graph go up faster. It could make my graph go up more slowly. It could make my graph upside down, whether it's the fast one or the slow one. Um, this H, the H itself, not the negative sign, but the H itself determines whether it's a horizontal translation to the right or to the left. We use H there because of a horizontal. And so when that H is positive, in this case, the H is negative because that's X minus negative two. Then that would, if H is positive, that's a shift to the right. If H is negative, then we would shift to the left. So this would be a shift of the to the left two units. The K is going to be a vertical shift. And if K is positive, then, um, I'm sorry, if K is positive, then that's up and down is a negative k. In this case, we don't have a k. So there's no vertical shifting. So what does this thing look like? Well, that negative two says, hey, it looks like this, except I'm shifted to the left two units. So this point right here is actually over here at negative three comma three. We can do that without drawing it, but I find it helpful to draw. Or we could do the following. I'm going to the left two units, so subtract two from that negative one, and I get negative three comma three. And that's right where I'm at, negative three comma three. The second point, or, the, or really the first point, was f of zero equals one third to the zero. That was the point zero comma one. But if I transform that, I would subtract two from zero and get negative two comma one. So this point here just shifts over two units to negative two comma one. 
So let's draw that now. So negative two comma one, negative three comma three. Still not correct, but hopefully you can see that it was the graph that we had before and shifted it to the left two units. What does this negative sign do? Well, this is what my function looks like. I did all of this stuff and now I have this negative sign. So I did all this stuff. That's all of these Y values for all the points on this line or curve, really, sorry. All the Y values for the point on this points on this curve now get multiplied by a negative one. So this point here that's about 10 in the Y direction, it's now gonna be negative 10 in the Y. So it's gonna be down here. This one, instead of being negative three comma three, it's gonna be negative three comma negative three. So it's gonna be right there. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, it just looks wrong because of the text. And then this one's gonna be right there. So now we can clear it again. This, it's gonna be a reflection about the X axis. So this is gonna be three down and this one's gonna be one down. So this will be here and then this one will be here. And that should be it. Pow, okay, hopefully that's helpful.